Hello tankers and tankettes, it's been a little while since I played any War Thunder, at least for the channel. I think I've played it once or twice in like the last month, but it hasn't been much. Um, I'm still mostly doing tanks, and I, I wasn't playing it during my break anyway, so you know, I wasn't playing any tanks during that period, this included. So I'm actually going to have a go at arcade battles, and I think up till now I've mostly done sim. So we're going to go completely for the opposite end of the spectrum. I'm going to tool around in this little shtug and we're going to see what we can see. Arcade battles are definitely easier in terms of the fact that, you know, you get markers and it's a lot easier to track shots and hit shots at long distance and that kind of thing. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes and hopefully I won't be queuing too long, but I shouldn't be. This is, after all, arcade battles. There we go, Conquest Jungle. The fact that this is arcade in jungle is quite useful. Now, that minimap looks a bit different than I remember, but one of the things they did change, I mean, they have drastically improved the minimap quality, so I'll give them that. They've, they've made that experience a lot better. So I'll just check. Don't have any HE, mostly AP and heat, so we'll just go to battle. Now I get this thing twice over. Looks a bit different as well. Or is that just me? No, no I think it does. The tree's less dense. Yeah, they've definitely changed this map in the... The last time I played this was maybe like two weeks ago. And that's one of the things about this game is that they do... It, it's like, uh, God, I don't know, Firefox versus Opera. Opera in terms of browsers, that they can do an update every so often, whereas Firefox went for a strategy of up, you know doing little updates but much more frequently, and that's basically what uh, Gaijin does: is little updates but much more frequently. Although that's not to say, you know, the um, uh, World of Tanks patches do come out now every couple of months. So uh, yes, that's a treat. So it's not like there's massive gaps in between those. 9.1 hasn't been on uh, out that long, and 9.2 is already firmly on the horizon. So am I... Oh, actually... Where's the cap point? Because according to the minimap, I'm kind of on it, but I'm not sure that I am. I'll actually try capping and see what happens. I will just get my ass blown up. On my face. You know, both ends. I'll get both ends blown up. I think that's what'll happen. So, let's see what we can see. Oh, that'll be a T-50. Um... Was that the crew that went out? I think that was the crew. Yeah, it was a T-50 though, so I'm not going to feel bad about that. The T-50 is, as far as I know, still fairly OP. Quite ridiculously, so I do have it all locked on the Russian side myself. So if this is a short match, which it might be, I've only got one spawn left, then... Actually, no, I might have another go in the Stug, because I do quite like the Stug. With its derpy little 75mm. Anyway, we've got more tanks actually around that area now, so yes. Might be a bit more fair. Maybe I don't want to be out the front. The, sh uh, the uh, I was going to say, the Stug has a better gun than mine. No. T50 has a better gun than mine. Uh, can I... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, wait, it's the crosshair I want. T34, there's a hit. Oh, and I think I'm spotted. And that's the thing I have to keep reminding myself in arcade battles. You can't... There's no real mechanism for knowing that you are spotted, other than that they start shooting at you. So, uh, oh, that's not what I want. So, it's something one has to remind oneself of. Because in, of course, Sim, it doesn't matter quite so much. You can hide yourself, you can use terrain, you can hide behind bushes, but of course it's much harder to spot them in return, so it's... Uh, Swings and roundabouts. So yeah, I, I'm definitely still kind of spotted here. Um, maybe going to move, maybe, maybe. It would be quite nice if there was some Sixth Sense style 
crew skill or unlockable on the tank or something, although I would give you maybe a serious advantage with uh, a tank with all the modules unlocked, but that's the case anyway, considering that you have to grind for things like repair kits and fire extinguishers. You've already... the repair kits especially, a, a tank with a repair kit has a massive advantage over a tank without, even though the repair times are completely unpredictable. So, um... I don't know that a kind of sixth sense style thing would be massively different from that. I can't really see how it would be, to be honest. Right, that's, uh, that's an AI tank over there. And there we go. Man, that's that's so hard to get the AI tanks. So hard. Let's see if I can't uh, nobble an actual player. There's somebody very close, apparently. Also, we are totally not contesting the cap, so... Oh, we're finally starting to... Right. Where is this, uh... Is that guy gonna drown? I hope he doesn't. Oh, oh, there's the T-50. Uh, I hurt his track. Suspension... Kind of, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of slightly uh, taking fire here. Uh, heat. I'm gonna take the risk. There we go. Right, let's fall back. I'm hoping that I'm at long enough range that other things will be less likely to pen me. But yeah, T50s. You need you need heat for those. I don't feel too bad about having to pelt him with that, because uh, he can just pen me with the regular stuff. I definitely can't pen him. <laughs> so let's see if I can't move a bit further around. Try and get some uh, peaks over the terrain here, maybe. We're about to lose this now anyway, so it's just a matter of can I actually... Yeah, this is... This is um, been quite unpredictable in terms of how it's gone. Right, let's just go for the higher pen stuff against this guy. Oh, he's backing off. I keep forgetting I can right click. I'm not quite au fait yet with the, the whole the sniper view controls. Slightly, uh... Nope, nope. Uh, oh. Anyway, doesn't matter, I'm just flailing with the controls and it doesn't matter because we lost anyway. Quite badly, as it turns out. But hey, arcade battles. I think one of the things I observed in my um, comparison video, and I didn't get every point right, a couple of people cor corrected me on a couple of things. Um, hooray, I've unlocked the Flag Panzer. Um, but I still... The arcade battles in this do feel way more chaotic than World of Tanks, and there's an element of, I guess, for better or for worse, you feel, I, I feel personally less kind of involved with the outcome of a match, which is maybe a bad thing in terms of I'm not fighting as hard as I might do to try and claw something back, but it's hard harder to do that as an individual in this game, it feels like. But also, it's a good thing in that you're getting less frustrated with results like this. This would have been like a, uh, I don't know, a 15-2 loss in World of Tanks kind of thing. <laughs> anyway, what are we going to unlock next? Panzer 2 F, 38T, or one of the Panzer 4s. It's a pity you can't actually... Um... <sighs> I mean, you can. It says that you can change your decision later in research window, and you can, but that 245 XP will actually have gone on whatever tank this is, rather than into whichever tank I actually want. I'm just going to take a wild guess and say that one, because I don't have the trees memorised yet. And I was far from the worst. Well, there you go. I'll actually try that again. This was not a particularly long one. And, I, like I said, I quite like the sugar. And I quite like to get the, the daily win thing as well. So we'll give that another go. Actually, let's just check the tech tree first off. 
I... Oh, that's a bit of a dead end, but on the other hand, the Hetzer. So that might be fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, actually, no, we'll stick with putting my research in there. Okay. Are there any other tanks I can actually buy at the moment? I don't have that many credits. Uh, I could buy the Flak Panzer. don't particularly want to buy the Flak Panzer, but on the other hand, that could unlock, you know... Uh, it wouldn't be nice to do truck racing with, you know, Zircon and Fosh at some point. <laughs> But that's the main two lines I guess I would be interested in, so we'll keep researching that for the time being. At the rate I play this game, it's going to be an awfully long time before I actually get any of these things. So let's jump back in with an arcade battle, see what happens. Hopefully a win! That at least was a fairly short match. This game does have a greater variety, I think. Or does it? In terms of like objectives and capture points and stuff. It, like like game types, that's what I'm trying to say, is game types. I don't know if it does actually. Someone in the chat will correct me if I'm right or wrong. Either way. Let's just assume I'm wrong. Caption guy always does, don't we? But absolutely well no uh, yeah, it, it can be a bit chaotic at the start, everyone so people just kinda of spawning in front of you and you're like, oh okay. So, um, this is this map, yes, Corellia. And has this changed as well? Or is it just the mini map that's changed? But oh my word, how long did it take them to figure out just that putting in outlines around the minimap icons would be a good idea in terms of enhancing the legibility of the information? Okay, that guy's just kind of like randomly. Firing, is he? Or are they firing on AA positions that I can't see? Maybe they are. Like there's one over there, for instance. Now, this is the uh, kind of one of the few things where HE would be useful. Oh, yeah, it's hard to turn smoothly, but I expect that was uh, true for real life tanks as well. Yes, I Hooray, I just found a cheap kill. Okay, well, oh, there's another one up there. Let's see. Let's do a no scope, you guys. Can we do a no scope? Which is way, way easier in arcade mode. Although I might just be wasting ammunition here. Maybe I am. <laughs> one more! One more, you guys! Oh, no, there we go. Gotta farm those AI kills. Right, on this map, again, it looks like there is only a single... Oh, there's one spawn point per team, and again, it's one single capture point. And that's a rock. See, I'm looking at the mini-map rather than what's in front of me, which is probably not what I should be doing. Let's see if I can be a bit more proactive this time, because last time I was kind of like, okay, that's a whole bunch of our tanks near the actual capture point. Whoa! And I was like, oh no, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. They'll be able to capture that. No. No. Apparently not. They can... I, I'm, I'm the kind of person, I suppose, that, I mean, tunnel visioning can happen in any game, but I can kind of get so fixed on what's happening in front of me and not looking at the minimap that I... It, it can sometimes come as a shock, but uh, oh hey look, we're being utterly thrashed to within an inch of our lives, collectively. Let's see if I can get these shots on that guy up there. Ah, the reticle's not quite cooperating. He might be a problem, maybe. Right, we are apparently, and again, there's a bunch of tanks sitting near the capture point. No one actually seemed inclined to go kind of up to the capture point. Woo! Let's not get hit in the side there. Uh, that's a Panzer three. See, I know, it's like... Maybe everyone's being cautious because nobody wants to just get one shot killed. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I haven't played this game enough to kind of form a general pattern of behaviour. Like, I'm still still in the fairly low rank vehicles, well, the lowest rank vehicles, so it's not like... Maybe it's totally different at the higher ranks, I don't know. But, um... Oh! Yeah, I'm just... these controls are slightly confusing me. 
That's a whole bunch of tanks. See, I am probably not in the ideal vehicle to be doing this, but on the other hand, no one else is. So, kind of feels like I don't have a lot of choice here. And I might be better off with the shells, to be honest. Should I pull back while I'm reloading? I was wondering if it would give me a kind of visual thing of the thing being damaged, but no. Right, no one, no one wants to come and help me? No, 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 okay. It's fine. I, I can carry. Why is the reticle jiggling quite so much? That's weird and annoying. Okay, if I can take this guy out, and then, you know, the four other guys that are with him, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm trying to get his low front plate, but, uh... He does keep moving around, and the wiggling reticle is not helping, I must be honest. Right, that's a T-60 apparently, which has just exploded. It's definitely still easier with the uh, thing moving here. So I'm having to use heat ammo, well not having to, but I've probably got a much better chance with heat ammo against that guy's side than I do with AP. I should probably have more AP, um, heat on this. Right, we are just being, um, yeah, they're not moving, they're not pushing. We've got one tank that's coming in with you now, a T-50. Maybe I've just been unlucky in that I've had lots of teams of really passive players. Oh, oops. I don't know. No one's been calling in artillery strikes, or... Not that I've seen, anyway. Right, I'm out of heat now. I've only got derpy armor piercing. Uh, that's a flak thingy, is it? No, that's another stug. Yeah, we're capturing. That counts as doing something right. Well, I'm taking a bit of a beating here, but I could get one shotted at basically any moment. That's always how this game goes. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a ZIS-30. Yeah, I should probably try and kill that. I don't know if blind shots work especially well. So my plan kind of worked out, but we're perilously low on tickets. I really have to keep a hold of this now. So, I, I let the charge and the rest eventually followed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's, that's maybe if I'd done the same in the other map. Who knows? Maybe it would have gone better. Maybe these are all newer players, just unwilling to risk their tanks, especially. But, uh, therefore, I'm playing a bit more passively, which, in this particular... Is this like domination mode? I'm not sure what this is called, but... When you have to take and hold an objective, and there's only one to fight over, then somebody's got to get their tank must. A bit scratched and a bit dirty, and a bit full of holes, potentially. Otherwise, it's just going to end up like that previous one. So I don't want to go too far. I also, I mean, I know, for instance, in World of Tanks, that the different servers have different reputations in terms of play style. Like, the Russians are all supposed to be, like, crazy aggressive, and um, SEA has got lots of pancakes, apparently. Like some of the NA servers... Uh, is it west or east? I can't remember. One of them's barely played and the other has a reputation of, uh, I don't know, lots of Call of Duty players <laughs> playing or something, I don't know. <laughs> Being not thrown very good. Oh, there we go, I hit. But, um, I don't know, maybe everyone just thinks their server is worse. Or, or the, um, that their own server is worse than other people's kind of thing. Because there are plenty of bad players to go around all the servers. And we always say, you know, of course, we always talk with the insider kind of view, but there's um, something to be said for remembering, just occasionally, just saying it out loud, the fact that just because you suck at these particular games doesn't make you a terrible person. It just means that you can't be bothered to better yourself or, or learn the rules of the game or, you know, go and look up guides or FAQs or YouTube. And it doesn't really apply to most of the people who are, like, for instance, 
watching my channel, because if you're already on YouTube and watching videos and stuff, that's usually a good sign. Why wasn't I... That was weird. I was actually clicking my mouse and wasn't firing, and I don't know why. That was slightly bizarre. No, I don't know what that was about. Whoop. That's a to 2C. Hooray! We won! I like to feel I actually had an influence on that one. It may have been small and pitiful, but, you know, some kind of influence. Anyway, anyway, to summarise what I was just saying, it's only a game. Why well, you have to be met? It's only a game. I oh, unlocked a decal there. Okay, and we actually won, and that actually... You see that it's worth getting the dailies in this game. I know I barely play it, but just the dailies alone can take you through the lower ranks fairly quickly. It's like one more daily and I'll have unlocked that and be onto the Panzer IV C or whatever. So there we go, some arcade Stug action. Um, I will endeavour to do, I don't know, I think one or two videos a month at most because I'm just not playing it that much. But what I do play of it, you know, there's enough there that I find it semi-enjoyable. It's just not nearly as fun as World of Tanks. And I did actually consider just doing some World of Tanks live recorded gameplay, but then I thought to myself, no, actually, it's a weekend. And we've had issues with me trying to record those on weekends before, and actually having to throw away footage just because it's like, yeah, weekend teams, just a bit unpredictable. Is that more of a thing or less of a thing in War Thunder? I don't know. War Thunder people tell me, is that a thing in this game as well? Are there such a thing as weekend teams? Was my first team a weekend team? So maybe this game is not so different as well, but you know what? Even though that was a horrible crushing defeat, I don't care so much as I would have maybe in World of Tanks. Anyway, anyway, you can leave comments below, you can hit the like button, you can subscribe to my channel, you can check out my other War Thunder videos, few there they are, and of course, as always, stay tuned for more.